Good morning, students. I welcome you all in your English reader lesson six poem Birds of a Feather. In this poem, you will enjoy two poems about birds from the point of view of two poets. Before we start, let's know about the poets. Frederick Ogden Nash was an American poet, famous for his humorous poetry. He loved rhyme. He published his first collection of poem in 1931. Now let's know. about another poet named tom burman tom burman was a world renowned scientist who specialized in aquatic microbiology he studied agriculture and microbiology and was awarded his phd in 1964 the poet was also known to have a great sense of humor in the two poems that you will read both the poets marvel marvel means wonder or astonished at the fascinating world of birds they bring out different aspects of the two birds the grackle and the stork while one talks about the eccentricities of the bird in loving jest the other renders an ode to the beauty and grace of the stork the grackle grackle birds live at northern and on the rocky mountain they live at northlands and on the rocky mountain they are large and have long legs and long tails as you can see in the picture and in the second stanza the poet has talk about the storks the stork has long been viewed as a powerful symbol of birth and new life they represents fidelity endurance and creativity now let's begin the poem birds of a feather in the first stanza of the poem the poet talks about the grackle birds they are medium sized black birds as you can see in the picture the poet tells that their voice is harsh and squeaky further in the first stanza the poet says that the birds are rude to other birds they bully other birds and make rude sounds the poet calls the grackle an ornithological debacle because their voice is not melodious the poet describes the grackle's behavior in a humorous tone now let's know about the second stanza in the second stanza of the poem the poet praises the storks saying that they move in group as their generations have taught them they are flying to the northern parts of the region as hawk and nest are awaiting for them the storks flew like smooth shiny tiny aircraft so students this was all about the poem both the bird poets are fascinated by the world of birds and describe the behavior of the birds in their own style dear students bird population in india is going down at an alarming rate especially of sparrows which were visible in all cities and towns until a few years ago they have now become a rare sight what do you think are the reasons for this write down in your notebook thank you everyone hope you would have enjoyed watching the video thank you stay home stay safe